How's it going guys? Jerry Bay here. Um, so I wanted to make a video and kind of talk about what happened today. I was involved in something that was very serious regarding a, a small toddler child. Not, not to do with me, of course, um, but I witnessed something that happened today in Chesning. Um, so dad and I had gone up to Frank's supermarket to get a few items from the market, you know, and we had to stop at the gas station. And after I left the gas station, uh, I crossed the intersection. For those of you familiar with the area, uh, the the nearest intersection, the, the uh, highway intersection is M52 and M57. They're state highways here in the state of Michigan. I cr I'm, I'm heading west on M57, crossing M52. And I notice there's a couple walking down the side of M57. Mind you, it's raining outside. It's kind of cold. And they had a toddler child also walking down the side of the highway. And, and mind you, it's a busy highway. And the child was dressed in uh, winter attire. He was wearing a snowsuit and a stocking cap. And immediately, I thought maybe they were broke down. You know, I, I didn't see any vehicles, but I thought maybe they were broken down somewhere. And so I, you know, my human instincts had immediately kicked in. I pull off to the side of the road and the minute I pull off to the side of the road, I look in the rear view mirror, they scoop this child up and they run, literally run back in the other direction. I get out of my van, my dad steps out of the van and like, whoa, wait a minute, where, where are you guys going? Are you broke down? Do you need help? And they kept running while another truck uh, had pulled up, offered the same thing to the, the, the adults and the child and they kept running. Do you need a lift somewhere? Nope, they kept running. And then the guy driving the truck had pulled up behind us because he lives in a town called Elsie, which is southwest of where I live. And he says, yeah, I was just going to offer, you know, a ride. Maybe they needed somewhere to go. And he says, I noticed that you pulled off to the side of the road and I figured I'd do the same. Um, you know, because the, the, the guy driving the truck actually had kids uh, or he has kids. They weren't with him at the time, but he had a car seat in the back seat in the crew cab of his truck. And he said, I was willing to, uh, you know, offer a ride wherever they had to go. Well, he called the police and reported it. And after that, he took back, you know, he took off back home to Elsie. And so what I did was I did a UE on M57. And when I crossed the, the, the highway, I saw the woman walking. I didn't see the, the man or the child. Uh, so I pull into the, uh, it's, it's called the OYO Hotel. I pull into the parking lot at the OYO, and the woman comes walking up, and I said, are you guys okay? I said, I thought maybe you were just broken down somewhere. Maybe you needed a lift, you know? And she said, no, the, the old man's trying to kidnap my son, but thank you anyway. And I'm thinking, trying to kidnap your son, there's no way I am leaving. So what I did was I pulled into the, you know, uh, the, I, it was the the west driveway and I pulled off to the side far enough so as to not you know obstruct traffic coming in and out of the uh, hotel well I waited for the police to show up well then I see the the I, I turn around like this and I see the man walking out with the child and they're literally having a tugging match with this toddler child now mind you this kid was probably I'd say three or four years old and Right then, I called the police myself. I said, nah, this isn't going to fly with me. So I called Saginaw County Sheriff's Department. Uh, the person on Central Dispatch actually told me I need to calm down and they're aware of the situation. But I'm sorry, when there's a child involved, I don't do calm. Um, if I think a child is in danger or in harm's way, I do something about it. So the cop showed up and uh, I'll just say, you know, skipping through all the other minor details... Uh, the little boy will be going home with his father tonight, which he is home with his father tonight. As it turns out, it was all the mother's fault. Whatever was going on, I'm not, you know, I'm not aware of those details, uh, provided it was a do uh, domestic dispute. And uh, so the little boy's with his father tonight. Hopefully he has a nice warm bed to sleep in. I'm thinking about the little fella, you know, and um, I stuck around so as to make sure that nothing further was going to happen, you know, just to make sure that the child wouldn't be harmed in any way. 
And because I was an eyewitness to what happened, I had to give my eyewitness testimony to a police officer. Um, Chesning PD showed up, Saginaw County Sheriff's had arrived, and even a cop from Oakley had showed up. And I had, uh, I had given my eyewitness testimony to a cop from the Chesning Police Department. I think his last name was Ott, badge number 4604, just to put that out there. Uh, because I plan on going to Chesning PD and giving um, my commendation to the officers who were called to that uh, that dispute. But I had given my uh, my story, and he didn't need my information. But as an eyewitness to what happened, I felt that it was necessary and essential. Might have been a missing you know, piece to the puzzle of what was going on. They, but they, they got it all figured out anyway. And like I said, the boy is with his father tonight. Hopefully he's in a nice warm bed and I don't know what's going to happen with the mother. Uh, but the mother was at fault for this one. And, uh, I want to say too, that this video is not in any way to stereotype mothers or fathers. This is just me explaining what happened today in the incident that I was involved in. Um, the police did thank me for making the call and for sticking around and for, um, you know, just, just doing what I thought I had to do. And I went with my instincts. Um, I'm not looking to play hero with anybody. Um, but it's just a reminder that you, you never know what's going on in the world nowadays. This world is in, in a, in a bad way. Humanity's in the toilet and, uh, we just got to do what we can to make sure that people are safe, especially children, because, they're defenseless. They can't take care of themselves and they got to have, you know, they got to have people out there looking out for them. And so, um, anyway, I just wanted to share with all of you what happened today. And I was really on edge. I was scared for that little boy. Um, my heart was racing. I felt sick. My stomach was all, you know, knotted up. I felt really sick and I was really, uh, just disturbed by the actions of these two grown people. Although the mother was in the wrong, but still, you know, when there's a child involved, you, you can't take chances, you take no chances. So anyway, guys, that's my video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded any new videos to this channel, but um, just want you to know I'm doing okay. Um, and it was quite the uh, crazy day today. I love you all. I thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned, more content to come. Have a good one.